What's up, guys? So, have a listen to this uh, shit. In terms of Taranaki, there is uh, testing available there, as we have um, uh, indicated, and that has been happening this afternoon. Finally, just to close with a message now, speaking to the rest of New Zealand, uh, as well as the people of South Auckland. Let's turn this up. More important than ever that everyone right around the country continues to play their part and remains vigilant. If you wonder what this uh, means, if what this means for you, what you might do, whether it will make a difference, yes, indeed it does. So, Listen up. please, if you feel unwell, call Healthline and arrange to get a test. Test. Keep up the hard work with hand hygiene, cough and sneeze etiquette that we continue to reinforce. And please, keep up with using the NZ COVID Trace app. Turn on Bluetooth and scan. Right, guys. <clears throat> this video needs to be made, okay? I've just spent my first day here in Rock Rockhampton. I spent two days in transit, as you guys saw, and I, I, I gotta, t I gotta, I gotta tell you guys this right now, okay? I didn't realize how fucking lucky I was to, okay, so what's happened is, in the last couple of, like, two weeks ago, Auckland had a breakout, that travel bubble with no quarantine necessary for New Zealanders entering Australia was, was canned for three days. Thankfully, the Australian government um, turned it back around. They, they, they trusted that there were isolated cases in Auckland and they, they opened up this, this quarantine-free travel bubble again. I am one of the last people to actually um, use that. Um, use that ability. Make use of it. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm listening to that right. Auckland's had another breakout. It's not within a quarantine facility. It is, in, <laughs> it is within a house. In Auckland, a normal household, the mother, the father, and the daughter have it. The mother works at a hotel with heaps of other people. The father, I have no idea, probably doesn't work to be honest. And <laughs> and the mother, uh, sorry, the, 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 the daughter goes to a school with 1,400 students. Okay? 1,400 students. That school is getting shut down for two days. Auckland is getting shut down for three days. Although I don't actually know the exact details. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to watch the rest of this news report. Then I'm going to come back to you guys and let you know exact, just how fucking lucky I was to get out of that fucking country into Australia with no quarantine. Nothing. I travelled as if, look, I, I had a mask on. Yes, I had to wear a mask for the very first time. And I fucking hated it. But to get me out of that country and into this one without quarantine is absolutely... Absolutely amazing and it was the least I could do and I knew it was going to turn. I fucking knew it. I knew it was going to turn to shit You know, I was even lucky enough to be able to leave New Zealand into Australia without even having to have a, a, a COVID test Not even a test up till the 10th of February. I would have had to had ha, had to have a, a negative test um, within three days of, of leaving because it was after the 10th of February that I flew, it was actually the 12th, I got away with that. Not only did I get away with that, but I also got away with not having to self ice Look guys, the, the, there are fuck all flights. There's hardly any bloody flights, mate. That's half the reason why I had to bus here. Okay. Traveling at the moment, doesn't matter what country you're in. Yes, New Zealand is finally affected once again by this fucking bullshit virus. And it's not bullshit. It's extremely dangerous, it's extremely contagious, and the world simply has not been able to contain it. It's crazy. So, I'm going to get back to my news report, and I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. Peace. Let me set out what that means for Aucklanders and the rest of New Zealand. A quick reminder of those alert levels which we haven't experienced for some time. The levels remain as they were the last time we moved to level three in August for Auckland. That means the main thing we are asking people in Auckland to do is to stay home to avoid any risk of spread. That means staying in your bubble other than for essential personal movement. People should work from home unless that is not possible. If you go outside your home, please maintain physical distancing of two metres outside or if you're in a controlled environment where you know others present one metre. We're asking children to stay home from school, but you will remember that in level three, schools at years one to 10 and early childhood education centres 
can open for children whose parents need to be at work. You'll remember that supermarkets, pharmacies, primary produce retailers and petrol stations, they will all remain open throughout. So once again, no need after this announcement to rush out to get any essential items. All of those providers, supermarkets, pharmacies, they will all be open and continue um, to be open. So no uh, need for a rush. But we are again asking all other businesses that usually interact face to face with customers to move to those non-contact methods you remember. That means click and collect or ordering online. The main rule here is maintaining physical distancing between staff and not physically interacting with customers. So those are our goals at level three. Public venues, you'll remember, do close. For example, libraries, museums, cinemas, food courts, gyms, pools, playgrounds and markets. Airports? Gatherings outside of your bubble are prohibited, with the exception of groups of 10 for wedding services, funerals and tangihanga. Physical distancing and public health measures legally must be maintained at those events if they do occur. And again, I would just encourage people, if you can, postponement would be the wisest thing to do at this point. Fucking hell. Health the border will be broadly similar to last time Auckland was at level three, but um, uh, important improvements have been made based on that experience. Those who need to travel through the border uh, can go to the MB uh, website. You'll remember we had an exemption regime, but if you can avoid that travel, uh, please do so. People at high risk of severe illness, such as older people and those with existing medical conditions, are encouraged to stay at home where possible and take additional precautions when you're... Okay, so if I was watching this, if I was meant to be flying tomorrow, I'd be thinking, yeah, I suppose postponement is the best option because they've just said, yes, there is an option to continue to go through the border. But I would assume that all flights would be cancelled and I'd assume that any excuse I had to go through the border would not be sufficient. So I'd be stuck in New Zealand and I wouldn't have got here for my daughter's third birthday, which was my main, <laughs> my main focus. So guys, I just, I, I cannot overstate how lucky I feel right now to not only be back in my daughter's lives, but to have gotten over here, man. What is the world coming to? Anyways, thanks for listening, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.